work had changed my life, no, and it can't take that away from me, no, I can't take that away from me. Good evening. So I would like to introduce Miss Abby Hardy, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening. Please stand for the presentation of the colors that will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing until the colors are retired. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Greetings. I am deeply honored since last year I think it is safe to say we have come a long way. Despite COVID-19, school is still in session. I agree with the great late Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Wouldn't you agree? I am Cassandra Miller Washington, Executive Director of CTAE. Welcome to the 10th annual CTAE Student of the Year Scholarship Banquet, where some of the finest students in Bibb County School District are recognized for outstanding achievement. Nominees, congratulations. Allow me just a moment to salute our distinguished guests, members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Curtis L. Jones, Chief of Staff, Dr. Kiel Kreese, Deputy Superintendent of District Effectiveness and Federal Programs, Dr. Lori Ward Rogers, members of Senior Cabinet, school and community leaders, sponsors, parents, nominees, CTAE faculty and staff, and our new virtual community as well. Thank you for joining us. Mr. Dominique Nichols, 2016-17 Bibb County Teacher of the Year and the 2017-18 runner-up. Please come and bring the invocation. Thank you. Good evening. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, it is with great gratitude that we honor your presence today. Thank you for the valuable relationships 
Thank you for the dedicated educators. Thank you for the foresight and wisdom of our leaders. And thank you for these gifted and unique students. We ask a special blessing upon the celebration, upon our honorees, and upon the continued forward movement of our school district. We pray that you would please continue to guide these outstanding young men and women as they continue forging ahead in greatness. From every challenge, cause them to emerge champions. In every endeavor, cause them to be inexplicably excellent. And at every vicissitude, cause them to be victorious. We count all of these things done. In the name of your son, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. And so it is. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for this special occasion. My name is Ryan Rogers. I am an eighth grade student at Howard Mill School. I am president of leadership and operations for the local chapter of FBLA at Howard Mill School. Most importantly, I represent Bibb County CTAE. CTAE stands for Career, Technical, and Agricultural Education. On the high school level, it is designed to foster career by helping students prepare for what's next after graduation. In CTAE, students are able to make the connection between their current studies and their, and their studies and advance their future, whether they plan to enroll in college, enlist in our armed forces, or employed in the workforce. Other Others and I benefited from the Bibb County CTAE programs and career and technical student organizations, better known as CTSO. CTAE is an instrumental in ensuring we are equipped with the knowledge, tangible, tangible skills, and connections to become successful, strong, and marketable professionals. From personal experience and the evidence of today, Bibb County School District CTA programs is truly building today's students for tomorrow, place in society. Thank you. Greetings distinguished guests, parents, students, family, friends, and our local community, our virtual community also. I'm Bonnie Angelo, Youth Apprenticeship Coordinator for Bibb County Schools. Tonight's celebration will recognize and honor some of our top CTAE students. Please welcome Ms. Nia Hicks, CTAE Supervisor and Hutchings College and Career Academy's Assistant Principal to the podium, Ms. Hicks will share the selection process and recognize our remarkable judges. Good evening. The selection process included the following criteria. Each student was nominated by a CTA teacher and competed against other students nominated within their high school. The following were also analyzed. Overall grade point average, CTA pathway grade point average, CTSO leadership, CTSO chapter competition, a written essay titled, How, Would, How Has CTA Helped You Become College and Career Ready? and district level student interviews. And the winner was determined by a cumulative score from the application package and judges score from district level interviews. 
a heartfelt thank you to our remarkable judges whose great effort is recognized and appreciated. We understand how difficult the selection process can be and thank you for sharing how impressed you were with each nominee. Judges, please stand when your name is called. Ms. Carmen Davis of Central Georgia Technical College, Ms. Melissa Middlebrooks, Southern Power Georgia Power, Southern Company Georgia Power, Mr. Howard Scott of Making Bib WorkSource, and Mr. John Hurd of Purdue Farms. Let's give all of our judges another big round of applause. Thank you for sharing your time, your gift, and your expertise. At this time, Ms. Angelo is coming and she will introduce the nominees for the 2021 District CTA Student of the Year. Thank you. So the nominees for the 2021 CTAE Student of the Year are, we're going to introduce them and share a little video. So representing Central High School, please welcome Trinity Smith Ray, Ms. Wileen Dickey, nominating teacher for Trent, has let not says that Trent has not let the pandemic keep him from utilizing his leadership skills and he has kept pushing to achieve his aspirations as a leader. He epitomizes excellence and truly makes teachers proud. Trent Smith Ray was nominated by me because he exemplifies the qualities of students who make their teachers proud. He has not let the pandemic keep him from utilizing his academic and leadership skills to keep pushing to achieve his aspirations in high school and beyond. He is highly recommended for this recognition for his hard work and dedication in CTAE and the web and digital design pathway. Trent is currently a member of the National Technical Honor Society, Future Business Leaders of America Club, and currently reigns as Mr. Central High School for the 2020-2021 school year. His community service activities and skills acquired while participating in FBLA and the Sugar Bear Band are accentuated by his ongoing participation in the following areas, media arts, music studies, and theater arts. Good evening. My name is Trinity Trent Smith Ray, and I'm a 12th grade student at Central High School. I consider myself to be a visionary scholar a leader, and a well-rounded student. During high school, I've been involved in several clubs and organizations. I serve as Mr. Central for the 2020-2021 school year, where I'm able to represent my school in the community. I'm also a member of Student Council, Future Business Leaders of America, as well as National Technical Society and the National Society of High School Scholars. I also serve as a peer mentor at Central as part of Source of Strength, which is a peer leadership group which supports mental health with students. I've had the honor of serving countless community service projects in the Macon, Middle Georgia area. The Career Technical and Agricultural Education Pathway, or CTAE, has definitely shaped me to be the servant leader that I've become today. I had my first experience with the Career and Technical Student Organization back in sixth grade as a new student at Miller, at Miller Minor, Fine Arts Maddie Middle School. During this time, I met Mr. Stevie Handy, who was the advisor of Future Business Leaders America Club. I can say that it was at this time I was influenced to do more and encourage service. This was not always an easy task, being a young man in a club which was full of mostly female leaders. Mr. Handy was so supportive and passionate about shaping and molding me into a leader. I was elected the first male president of BLA at Miller for the 20 years that Mr. Handy served there. The most impactful lessons that I learned from this experience were to implement in my life daily, were to treat others as you wish to be treated. As I transitioned into high school, 
I continue to be a member of FBLA, where the teachers who are a member of that club are heavily associated with the CTAE programs at my school. The teacher I've had the past three years is Ms. Wileen Dickey. Being with her in the classroom setting for three consecutive years has allowed me to become a key part of my development as a high school student. Not only has participating in the technology path which prepared me to be college and career ready, it has also prepared me to be ready to move forward within the digital age that we have been forced to navigate through these COVID-19 times. She's shown me things essential to computers, starting from the basics such as knowing my way around Microsoft applications to learn the applications and strategy to market myself to prospective employers. The technology pathway has instilled in me the importance of having a resume and great interviewing skills. It has further instilled in me the importance of community service as it is always being highlighted in the classroom and during club meetings. CTAE has further developed my character and drive to want to make a difference beyond my community. The CTAE has programmed and helped me to prepare myself for other students just to be ready and prepare for college or career, but also how to network and be ready, responsible, and prepare for life beyond our high school halls. Thank you. Thank you, Trent. Now I would like to introduce Ms. Camille Tolbert. Morgan Jarvis, nominating teacher for Camille, says that um, holds Camille in the highest regard and declares she's one of the most valuable FBLA members. Mr. Jarvis further declares that she has demonstrated all the characteristics one looks for when describing a model student. She has an immense work ethic and exceptionally smart and has the biggest heart ever. Camille is the definition of what CTAE can do for a student. As a freshman, she was reserved and content to be on the sidelines. FBLA pushed her outside of her comfort zone to be one of the most respected and recognized school leaders at Howard. As a student leader, she sets the standard for excellence within our school and district. One of my absolute favorite stories about Camille was her freshman year. I was at La Perilla with my wife for dinner. Two tables over was Camille. This was the first week she had been in my class, so she didn't really know me that well. As she left, she walked by my table to leave, stopped to say hi, but then got nervous and kept going without saying anything. Today, not only would she say hi, she would probably sit at the table with us and ask me to buy her food. Once upon a time, she was too shy to say hello to me, and now she's basically my daughter. Camille, I am so proud of you. Business and technology has allowed me to have a smooth transition from face-to-face -face learning to virtual learning. It gave me a solid foundation so that when we switched to hybrid learning, I was able to keep up with my schoolwork seamlessly. FBLA has given me the opportunity to travel to new places and meet my best friends. Most importantly, however, it has shaped me into the leader I am today. My career goal is to become a criminal justice attorney. When I think about our current climate in America, I want to be able to be a voice and fight for people who are not able to fight for themselves. Good evening, everyone. Imagine, you are a freshman at a big high school with little to no awareness of where the future will take you. You are simply a follower. That was me before CTAE and FBLA entered my life. It started in my business and technology class. There, CTAE strengthened my ability and proficiency with multiple forms of technology. I learned how to create graphs in Excel, format letters in Word, and create moving presentations in PowerPoint. The instruction I received greatly impacted me in both the short and long-term capacity. With this pandemic threw us into an unprecedented situation, I was prepared to succeed and thrive in this learning environment. I was able to take the technology skills gained in my business and technology pathway courses and implement them directly into my remote learning environment. It was in my business and technology class that I was introduced to FBLA. 
FBLA is one of the most well-known student organizations in the United States today. Members of this prestigious student organization have gone on to become global leaders of business. As a member of my high school chapter, I've been shaped for career achievement. FBLA taught me the importance of demonstrating my leadership skills, the significance of owning my own voice, and the ability to demonstrate empathy for my peers and others. I can honestly say there is a direct correlation with my chosen career field and FBLA. My future career aspirations is to become an attorney. This career path will require not only leadership capacity, but the ability to demonstrate compassion towards unknown individuals. The opportunities I have participated in, including multiple service functions, have increased my understanding of the reality of many. It has also increased my desire to positively impact the lives of those in need. Looking back, I can recall different situations in which I always relied on someone to take charge. Now, I'm confident in my ability to do this myself because FBLA has strengthened my tool set to make informed decisions that align with my own principles. When I think of myself as that follower of my freshman year, I think about how FBLA molded me to be a leader. CTAE played a big role in making me who I am today. With my business and technology pathway in FBLA, I have memories, experiences, and opportunities that I would not have been able to do if I were not involved with the organization. I have hosted workshops, participated in conferences and overnight academies, and competed at the state level. Most importantly, CTAE taught me how to be a leader and how to speak up for myself. Before high school, I was a very shy person. Meeting new people or speaking up first was never something that I truly enjoyed doing. When I joined FBLA, I learned how to use my voice to not only lead, but to guide others to be leaders themselves. Without those workshops, I would not have been able to accomplish this. Three years later, I've grown from a follower to a passionate young leader. A young lady who no longer fears using her own voice to share her opinions or to stand on principles even if she has to stand alone. Through my involvement with CTAE, I am now a confident student whose skills have grown exponentially in technology. As a soon-to-be graduate, I stand poised to take the world by storm because of my affiliation with these two rewarding organizations. Thank you. Thank you, Camille. Representing Northeast High School, help me welcome Nayari Ni Langston. Rhonda Barnes is the nominating teacher for Nayari. Barnes shares she is a beautiful young woman who has faced many obstacles in life. However, she has overcome them all. She tackles tasks with optimism and an I can, I will spirit. I nominated Naari for Student of the Year for Northeast High School because she is an exceptional student who's respectful and a highly engaged academic scholar. In addition, Naari is excited about life and achieving her academic and career goals. I met Naari about four years ago at the genesis of my teaching career at the Northeast High School. Naari was struggling academically, socially, and emotionally. I have literally seen her blossom into a beautiful young lady who has persevered through all of her challenges. And she has accomplished all of her academic and career goals. And I am so very proud of her. And on behalf of all of us, we say congratulations, Naari. We're extremely proud of you. FBLA has made me college and career ready, it has expanded my knowledge base on community resources, and it has strengthened my self-esteem and resolve to succeed. I aspire to become a pediatrician. Good evening. My name is Naari Langston. CTAE, a hidden gem, and my true blessing. 
CTAE has helped me become the person I am today by helping me obtain college and career readiness skills in a variety of uplifting and exciting ways. I can truly say that these ways have advanced me both academically and personally. I love CTAE. I am moved by the wonderful teachers that work within this program. My CTAE Pathway teacher has made an indelible impact on my life, both in and outside of school. This includes my decision making, my perspective, and the method in which I have selected to choose my career path. Few people are aware of what CTAE stands for, and I am proud to announce that it stands for Career Technical Agricultural Education which gives students the opportunity to become successful within their selected pathways. My knowledge base has expanded powerfully over the course of the four years of study and marketing with the generous help of my CTAE advisement mentor teacher, Dr. Rhonda Barnes. Dr. Barnes has helped me strengthen me in innumerable areas by challenging, encouraging, guiding, correcting, and believing in higher opportunities concerning my future. She has labeled her advisee students, which I am one, DIVAs, which is an acronym that stands for Determined, Inspired, Victorious Angels. We start off our mornings every day reciting our affirmation that Dr. Barnes personally wrote for us. To recite this affirmation daily reminds me that I play a substantial part in something great. Not only do I cherish her role in my life, but so does my mother. Dr. Barnes goes over, above, and beyond to make sure that all her students are college and career ready. She finds an exciting way to educate us every day. She represents CTAE well. For me, CTAE has shown me how to prepare for college by teaching me how to set goals and manage them well, which has been a key factor in attaining my prompt acceptance from my dream college, Savannah State University. <laughs> you will have to briefly understand my story before understanding truly how much CTAE has helped me. Before becoming an active part of Dr. Barnes' CTAE classes, I was struggling badly, both personally and mentally. My mother, who was a single mother of three, had to seek medical care for my depression. To receive the bright way of motivation and hope from someone such as Dr. Barnes gave me new life and vitality. Her motivation breathed hope into what appeared to be hopeless. I remember the first time she called me a diva. I thought, what in the world is this lady talking about? She said in marketing, we must fixate on our targeted goal and believe with everything within our being that what we want to come to fruition is ours to have and it shall be. I will never forget that day. I felt as if I could conquer the world. Now, I feel I have. I know I have so much more to do. However, I have come from such a long way. I am Northeast's student of the year a frequent honor roll recipient. I have been accepted into the college of my dreams. I am a work-based learning student. I hold offices in both DECA and FBLA. And for the first time in my life, I feel on top of the world instead of the world being on top of me. CTAE is truly the best thing that has happened to my school and personal career goal and future goals. Thank you. Thank you, Naari. From Rutland High School, please welcome Sabrina Rutledge. Vanessa Mellinger is the nominating teacher for Sabrina. She says Sabrina's desire to give back is just one way she shines at Rutland High School and in FCCLA. Sabrina always goes above and beyond the call of duty to help other students and is very dedicated to bettering herself and the entire Rutland FCCLA program.
my honor to nominate Sabrina Rutledge for CTAE Student of the Year. No one is more deserving of this award. She's a dual enrollment student, an honor graduate, and has served in several leadership positions on the local and state level for the past three years with FCCLA. She's a driven young woman who is willing to go after her goals, putting her best foot forward in everything she does. She always conducts herself in a respectful and responsible manner. She mentors and encourages others, making sure that everyone is ready to be successful before worrying about herself. She was even awarded the Georgia FCCLA Spirit of the Organization Award for the 2020-2021 school year. Sabrina, you've grown up before my eyes, from a freshman who I had to convince to join FCCLA to a strong and confident young woman who reminds me every day what determination and hard work can achieve. Sabrina, I could not be more prouder of the woman you've become over these last four years. Your future is so bright. I'm proud to call you my student and the Rutland High School CTAE Student of the Year. My name is Sabrina Rutledge and I'm a senior at Rutland High School. I'm a pathway completer for nutrition and food science and an FCCLA member. Being a part of FCCLA for the past four years has enhanced my time in high school through growth. Dating all the way back to freshman year, I used to be the shy, apprehensive student who kept her friend group small and learned to stay quiet in the back of class. But that was until I became an active member within my FCCLA chapter. I started out competing in competitions and attending state conferences. Then, during my sophomore year, I became the Georgia FCCLA Region 7 Officer, and that is when I fell in love with servant leadership. From that moment forward, I had the opportunity to serve members all across Georgia as a regional and state officer, as well as a board of directors member. I got to speak on stage, travel all across the nation, learn employability skills, and above all, find my true passion for family. When I graduate college, I hope to become a foster care case manager and create my own nonprofit titled Sabrina Second Chance. This nonprofit will help birth mothers, unborn babies, families looking to adopt, and those who are homeless create a second chance and get the help that they need. I am confident that FCCLA is the true and genuine product of who I am and who I will become. Good evening. You would never think one letter could change the course of a life, but one letter did for me. This letter created the most shocking and life-changing moment for me at the 2019 FCCLA State Leadership Conference. Leading up to the conference, I participated in a preliminary interview and test to run for state office. Needless to say, I was so excited when I was chosen as a finalist. On the day of the conference, I presented an election speech for thousands and participated in my first round table Q&A. Surrounded by my friends and advisor, I received my first letter drop informing me that I would be a state officer. Immediately, I was in shock and wept tears of joy. But little did I know that this exact moment would create the story of how career, technical, and agricultural education has helped take my past to create a radiant future. My true journey began in eighth grade. I was a shy little girl named Felicia Shively. Nerdy, quiet, and lonely was an accurate depiction of self-image. I only had three friends and was dealing with something that weighed heavy on my shoulders, the adoption process. Not only did I have to endure the pain of losing my brothers, struggling with anxiety and depression for the first time, and fighting against my birth parents, I had to deal with embarrassment. I was ashamed to let others know my story and was bullied because I was different. People assumed I changed my name to not be known as the Bi Felicia girl anymore. But on March 27, 2017, with the permission of my newly adopted parents, I became Sabrina Rutledge and gave myself a fresh start. It was not always smooth sailing. The beginning of high school led me to the wrong crowd. I was still a great student, but I was falling into bad habits and making mindless decisions. Until Ms. Mellinger, the Rutland FCCLA advisor, saw my potential and reached out a lending hand. I was hesitant, but decided it wouldn't hurt to join FCCLA. I started attending meetings, participating in events, and even ran for region office. Soon enough, my entire high school career revolved around FCCLA. I grew into a remarkably confident, ambitious, and focused young woman. I stood a little taller as I learned how to advocate, 
speak in front of crowds, create a strong resume, and make an impact on my community. My passion for FCCLA has been vital in creating the person I am today. During my time in CTAE, specifically with an FCCLA, I've drawn closer to my true pathway in life. Due to FCCLA's central focus being family, it has helped me realize that my past does not define me. I've decided to create, I've decided to continue my education and major in child and family development to become a foster care case manager. I will continue my FCCLA journey as I will be rooming with a fellow state officer at Georgia Southern University. Finally, I will be creating my own nonprofit titled Sabrina's Second Chance that will be primarily focused on adoption and helping birth mothers. Career, technical, and agricultural education has facilitated me to turn my burdens into a success story. I'm confident I will continue to grow the skills I have acquired. So, when asked how CTAE has helped me become college and career ready, I think back to that little girl named Felicia and compare her to Sabrina. CTAE has created yet another strong, young woman who is ready to take on the world. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. Representing Southwest High School, let's welcome Jasmine Martin. Ms. Lucretia Fuller is Jasmine's nominating teacher. She states Jasmine has excelled as a CTAE student and has taken full advantage of all opportunities afforded her. Jasmine is a very focused student and she has placed herself in a position to pursue and explore several career options. She has completed three pathways also. Jasmine is a remarkable student. She is willing to try anything and has excelled in CTAE. Jasmine has taken full advantage of all CTAE opportunities afforded to her, including completing CTAE courses in middle school, the web design pathway, two Hutchins Career Academy programs, and dual enrollment classes for college credit. Jasmine is an entrepreneur. Jasmine has accomplished this while maintaining her academic status as valedictorian. Who better than Jasmine to represent Southwest or Bibb County as CTAE Student of the Year? In all that Jasmine has accomplished in her four years in high school, Jasmine has remained grounded, humble, and very much career focused. FBLA, HOSA, EMT, CNA, and web design has helped me to explore different opportunities and choose my career field. These experiences have also helped me become a well-rounded student. Participating in the dual enrollment program allowed me to get a jump start on college courses and earn many credentials such as being certified in CPR, CNA, and soon to become a certified as an EMT. And what I'm most proud of doing through my high school years is owning a small business, meeting new friends, and being college and career ready. I plan to attend Georgia College and State University to get my Bachelor's of Science and Nursing and continue to run my small, customized jewelry business called Jim Jewels. Good evening. My experience to explore CTAE started in Introduction to Digital Technology in Middle School. This class presented me with computer programming and resume skills and led me to become a member of Future Business Leaders of America. When I entered high school and enrolled in the Web and Digital Design Pathway, in the web and digital design pathway, we learn Adobe Photoshop, gaming programming, and much more technology skills. 
One of the assignments that affected me the most in shaping of my career was an interview assignment. Students were given a task to interview a professional higher in our career choice. I decided to interview Southwest High School's nurse, Laurie Smith. I interviewed Nurse Laurie because my ultimate goal is to become a nurse in the neonatal intensive care unit, pediatrics, or labor and delivery. While in high school, I was presented with dual enrollment programs. Being a dual enrolled student at Central Georgia Technical College has allowed me to take college classes as a high school student. Also, I am a certified nursing assistant and CPR certified, allowing me to be ready to take on different healthcare skills on the job. I completed these certifications at Hutchins College and Career Academy. These steps are important because I am able to understand the basics that nurses are required to know. During the 2020-2021 academic school year, I have decided to further my preparation to be college and career ready by being enrolled in the emergency medical technician program. I participate in this class at Hutchins College and Career Academy. Only students who have completed the Certified Nursing Assistant Program are eligible to take the EMT program. Most students decided to opt out of this program, but I wanted to complete the program to gain more knowledge in the healthcare field. After this program, I'll be able to become a Certified Emergency Medical Technician after I have passed the National Registry test. I have noticed that while being in the CNA program, Learning the healthcare curriculum and hands-on skills was a vital essential for me. I know that being able to learn as much information as I can now about healthcare will be useful to my advantage while striving to become a nurse. Having this advantage at an early age will put me a step ahead when it comes to learning the skills I already know. Thank you. Thank you, Jasmine. From Westside High School, please welcome Treshawn Pearson. His instructor, Sergeant Janet Greer, shares he is the finest young man she has ever met at Westside High School. He stands well above his peers in leadership, intelligence, responsibility, and integrity. His leadership capabilities allowed him to rise to the highest rank in, of colonel in the Air Force JROTC program. Cadet Pearson was selected for Student of the Year because he is a natural leader. He leads by example, always ready to mentor and help others do their best and be their best. He is a servant leader within the school, his family, and community. Cadet Pearson is not only a leader, he took on the task to organize and inventory our unit logistics room, helping us pass a crucial inspection. He's an exceptional student athlete who currently plays varsity baseball, and tennis while maintaining a 3.0 GPA and assists his younger siblings with their virtual schoolwork. Being in JROTC helped me make friends and build my confidence up to take on many opportunities. From community service activities to competitive field days, the program is a grand experience. With the major growth in the technology use and the development of software. My intentions are to take on a career in the engineering field. Good evening. From the time that I stepped into the halls of Westside, my journey to greatness began with the wide range of pathway options that I knew I would become college and career ready no matter which program I chose. The Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps set me on a path to be successful. The Air Force JROTC mission teaches us life skills such as leadership, self-discipline, and confidence. These skills will go with me into my adulthood. 
My first year in high school, I was lucky to be a part of two CTAE pathways with ROTC being the one that I chose to complete. From the start, I felt like I belonged in this program and it would help me to make it through high school confidently. Starting off as a cadet, Airman Basic, I wanted to do any and everything to be the best I could be by reaching the top ranks as, the bro as my brother before me. Any opportunity that came up about to show that I had the necessary traits to lead or step up, I volunteered. From being the physical training non-commissioned officer or to being the civil engineer non-commissioned officer, it's helped me to end my first year as an encouraged and more efficient student and cadet. In my second year, I was selected to be a flight sergeant, and this responsibility alone helped me to realize how, many, how time management and organizational skills is important in life. Taking control of the flight and leading by example and urging others to do the same takes plenty of self-discipline, and as a 10th grader, it took a lot of growing up. My first two years being at RTC forced me to make some changes that will stick with me forever. The biggest and most responsible task I had was being assigned as logistics officer during the inspection year. And this job was very important and could determine if our program would continue. Therefore, I had to put together all the skills and life lessons I learned so far to help me save our program. I spent hours organizing and doing inventory of resources and uniforms to be ready for inspection, and we happened to pass. The changes I have made and experienced in, during my high school years and life adjustments have come from being in, a C, in this CTAE program. From what I have observed and experienced to be prepared and successful, you must be willing to lead in any situation and do so confidently. Even in heart racing situations, you have to think critically and act rationally. During my third year, during my third year and my final year, the pandemic arose and forced me to learn virtually, which added another reason for me to thank Air Force Junior ROTC. At the beginning of every class, we recite the Air Force core values, and these have helped me to be an honest, responsible student, doing what is right when no one is watching, helping others by reaching out to them during uncertain times, and doing, doing it right with excellence. These core values will carry me through life, and all the memorable moments will hopefully assist me to be a successful member of society. I would like to thank Bibb County Board of Education for putting in place a masterful vision to build citizens of character who are career and college ready for the community and for the nation. And I would like to thank Westside for providing me with the opportunity to be a part of an amazing CTAE course. I am now college and career ready. Thank you, Treshawn. Representing William S. Hutchings College and Career Academy, let's welcome Daylin Lomaly. Avery Derman is the nominating teacher for Daylin. She says she knew there was something special about Daylin as soon as she arrived at Hutchings College and Career Academy. Not only is she extraordinarily bright, but she also exudes joy, confidence, and leadership. She has grown and matured over the past three years and is one of those students who makes all the sacrifices of teaching worth it. Daylin Lamelli is an exceptional student. She's currently in her third year here at Hutchings College and Career Academy. From the moment she walked through the doors, we knew there was something special about Daylin. Not only is she extraordinarily bright, but she exudes joy, confidence, and leadership everywhere she goes. We've seen her grow and mature over the past three years, and she's one of those students who makes all the sacrifices of teaching worth it. Daylin leads by example, and she encourages others to be the best version of themselves. She's not only intelligent, but she has the kindness and compassion that will make her an outstanding doctor one day.
My name is Dayla Lomely and I go to Westside High School and Hutchins College and Career Academy. I am currently taking the EMT Pathways. The Pathways I have taken while at Hutchins College and Career Academy have enhanced my knowledge, skills, and experience. They have not only been helpful in my career choice, but also in my life. It has allowed me to get a head start on my college and career while receiving guidance along the way. My career choice is to become a doctor. I know it will be challenging, but HCCA has given me the confidence to take a hold of my education and follow my dreams. My E is enrolled. I will be attending UGA and majoring in biology on the pre-med track. Good evening. College and Career Academies are great opportunities for students to get a head start and guidance on their futures. By attending Hutchins College and Career Academy, I have gained knowledge, skills, and experience not only helpful in my career choice, but also in my life. Hutchins College and Career Academy has given me opportunities that I would not have gained at a regular high school. I started my journey at Hutchings my sophomore year in the English and Math Pathway where I, where I earned dual enrollment credits that helped me get a head start in college. I instantly fell in love with the atmosphere of the academy on my first day and looked into doing another pathway for the next year. I then got accepted into the Certified Nursing Assistant Pathway where I found my passion for the medical field. We learned how to help patients on a physical, emotional, and personal level. I joined, Ho I joined Hutchings HOSA chapter and advanced to state in nursing assisting, placing in the top 15 my first year competing. Since I enjoyed Hutchings, I did not want to waste any more opportunities to further my education and gain more professional skills, so I enrolled in the EMT pathway. While in the EMT pathway, I have learned how to assess a patient's condition and determine a course of treatment. I also have learned how to provide first aid treatment or life support to care for sick or injured patients. I currently serve as a president of Hutchings HOSA chapter. I, am advanced, I advanced to state during this year. I came in first place in my region for EMT and third place for CPR slash first aid. Alongside HOSA, I am an ambassador for Hutchings. We are, guides, we are guides for school tours and helpful to anybody who may have questions. We show leadership by carrying ourselves with responsibility and showing respect for all. We made Valentine's Day cards for residents in nursing homes, and we also were going to read to children in the hospital, but sadly, because of COVID, it didn't allow us to. Being a part of Hutchings and the opportunities it offers has taught me how to be confident in stepping outside of my comfort zone. Not only am I involved at Hutchings, but I also take part in activities at my home school and on my own. I am currently president of Westside High School's marching band and also a section leader. I, I am in charge of holding and organizing leadership meetings and seeing how we can all improve and being a great example for others. I also help my section improve on playing and memorization with music, but we all help each other. We have helped out at camp food drives and also read to elementary school kids for Dr. Seuss Day. While participating in school activities and keeping up good grades, I take extra dual enrollment college classes and have over 45 dual enrollment credits. I also work two jobs and I babysat whenever I was able to. I would not have been able to accomplish all the wonderful achievements if it weren't for the teachers at Hutchings. I have created the best bonds and I will cherish them for a lifetime. Every teacher has motivated me to become the best I could be and even when it gets hard, failure is never an option. I am proud to say that I will be a first-generation college student. <laughs> there are unlimited opportunities out there for everyone, and we need to take advantage of all of them because we have the privilege of education. As Dr. Washington said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Will you take on the challenge and change the world? Thank you. Thank you, Daylin. 
Um, good evening. My name is Jason Weiss. I'm the CTA supervisor for Howard Northeast and Rutland Schools. Um, technology is not always our friend, but we did want to make sure that all of our nominees got their moment to shine. So we are going to take a minute and watch Mr. Smith Ray's video. <laughs> Trent Smith Ray was nominated by me because he exemplifies the qualities of students who make their teachers proud. He has not let the pandemic keep him from utilizing his academic and leadership skills to keep pushing to achieve his aspirations in high school and beyond. He is highly recommended for this recognition for his hard work and dedication in CTAE and the Web and Digital Design Pathway. Trent is currently a member of the National Technical Honor Society, Future Business Leaders of America Club, and currently reigns as Mr. Central High School for the 2020-2021 school year. His community service activities and skills acquired while participating in FBLA and the Sugar Bear Band are accentuated by his ongoing participation in the following areas, media arts, music studies, and theater arts. Technology Pathway and FBLA have shaped me to be more aware of how I serve others and has filled my passion to be a voice for and serve others. It has helped to further develop my character and drive to make a difference beyond my community. The CTAE program has helped to prepare myself and other students to not just be ready and prepared for a college or career, but also how to network and to be responsible and prepared for life beyond high school. I plan to attend Georgia Southern University and major in political science with a minor in Africana Studies. It is my goal to one day become a journalist or a political correspondent with a national news outlet such as CNN. I'm excited to introduce our guest speaker, the 2018 CTAE Student of the Year, Ms. Krupa Patel. Welcome back home, Krupa. Krupa Patel is a junior at Mercer University, where she is pursuing a bachelor's degree in business, excuse me, in biology with a business administration minor on the pre-med track. She is a Griffith Scholar. During her senior year at Rutland High School, Krupa was named Bibb County's CTAE Student of the Year. She is the president for Mercer's pre-medical and village mentors, director of finance and speaker coordinator for TEDx Mercer University, a teacher's assistant for General Chemistry Lab 1 and 2, a peer advisor, a lead tutor of America Reads, America Counts, and an undergraduate research student. In her spare time, she shadows doctors and volunteers at the Beverly Knight Olson Children's Hospital. While in high school, she was very active in Future Business Leaders of America. She held the position of vice president her junior year and the position of president her senior year. Please join me in welcome Ms. Krupa Patel. Good evening, everyone. My name is Krupa Patel, and I was a 2018 CTA Student of the Year representing Rutland High School. I graduated from Rutland in 2018. As of now, I am a third year student at Mercer University, majoring in biology with minors in chemistry and business administration on the pre-med track. My pathway in high school was financial services pathway, and my CTSO was FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America. I chose this pathway because I've been helping my parents with their business since a very young age. I also felt that when I, whatever I learned or gained knowledge of from this pathway will help me start my own practice, hopefully in the future. I have gained leadership skills, interpersonal skills, communication skills, and much more from my pathway in FBLA. My leadership role started off with FBLA. I started off as a treasurer for FBLA and slowly became the vice president and then the president of FBLA at Rutland my senior year. This position gave me the confidence to apply for more positions with other clubs. Then I became the treasurer for Spanish club, president of student council, president of beta club, a blood drive coordinator, and the captain of varsity tennis team. 
This prepared me for potential leadership roles for college. Going into college, I did have to start from the bottom. I became the director of finance for Mercer Pre-Medical, Village Mentors, and TEDx Mercer University. And now I am the president for Mercer Pre-Medical and Village Mentors, a speak coordinator for TEDx Mercer University, and a third time blood drive coordinator for American Red Cross. One thing that I would tell myself as a freshman would be don't be afraid to put yourself out there and appreciate your work. Because if you don't appreciate yourself, then you can't expect someone else to appreciate you. My advice to all the candidates is there will be times when you catch yourself in a dilemma or doubt yourself, because I totally did and I still do. But at the end, think of this as a learning experience. And since all of you are leaders, I would advise you to take your, time, take your team and have them take steps with you and not behind you, because you want them to feel equal. Thank you. Thank you, Krupa. Each year, the CTA administrative team sets a goal to increase the monetary amount of the Student of the Year scholarship. With industry and community don donations, we met our goal. This year, we collected more than $4,000, and we thank you so much for your generosity. As we prepare to announce our first, second, and third place winners, let's remember all students are winners, and everyone will receive a cash prize. Listen carefully. Students who did not place in the top three will receive $150. For the first time ever this year, we have a tie for third place. So two of our third place winners are both will receive $500. The second place winner will receive $750, and the district overall winner will receive $1,500. Let's take a moment to recognize our sponsors. Dr. Washington, Ms. Angelo, please join me in insisting to recognize these sponsors. Our platinum level. ICB Construction Group. This level provides the first place scholarship and gift bags for the students. If any of our sponsors are present, present excuse me, please make your way up so we can um, thank you for assisting. Gold Level, Macon Bib Industrial Authority. Silver Level, Mid-South Community Federal Credit Union. Also a silver level sponsor, GEICO. As well as 100 black men of Macon, Middle Georgia. Our bronze level sponsors, Central Georgia Technical College Foundation. As well as the Technical College System of Georgia. Our supporter level sponsors, Rutherford Trophy. As well as Wish Printing. Thank you all for that, for sponsoring our program. All right, it is that time. I have the great pleasure and honor to introduce Dr. Lori Ward Rogers, Assistant Superintendent of District Effectiveness and Federal Programs, to announce the 2021 Bibb County School District CTA scholarship winners. Oh, this is the exciting part of the event. And I must say, today has been a delight to hear from the teachers who have nominated the finalists and to hear from the finalists in their own words. 
it is truly a time for us to remember and to cherish, to know that we are graduating students in Bibb County School District that will change the world. And with that, may I have all the finalists please move to the front of the stage. Let's give everyone a round of applause. I will announce the winners of the $150, and I will announce the third and second place winners. The last student standing will be the 2021 Bibb County CTAE Student of the Year. When I call your name, Please step to the left, receive your scholarship, and have a seat. The recipients of the $150 prize prizes are Trent Smith Ray, Central High School. Jasmine Martin, Southwest High School. Anne Treshawn Pearson, Westside High School. We're down to four. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the four will be named the 2021 Bibb County CTAE Student of the Year. Again, congratulations to all the finalists. We have two third place winners. Can you tell I'm trying to build up the excitement here? The first third place winner and recipient of a $500 scholarship is Dalen Lomili from William S. Hutchins College and Career Academy. Congratulations. The second third place winner and recipient of a $500 scholarship is Nyari Langston from Northeast High School. <laughs> Two left, and they're both standing tall. I will first announce the second place winner and the remaining standing student is the 2021 Bibb County CTAE Student of the Year. The second place winner will receive a $750 scholarship. That will go mm, two books now in college, but it is definitely an honor to know that you are a winner for Bibb County School District. Without further ado, Sabrina Rutledge from Southwest High School.
excuse me, Sabrina Rutledge from Rutland High School. Well, I guess you have figured out who's the first place winner. I wasn't ready for that. Camille Talbert. Will everyone please stand and congratulate Camille Talbert from Howard High School, our 2021 <laughs> Student of the Year for CTAE for Bibb County School District. <laughs> Dr. Washington, I, 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 I tell you. <laughs> You said you wanted to be amazing, and I think you, you, you have accomplished that. Thank you. Um, again, this has been an honor to be able to represent our school district in announcing the winners of the scholarship this year. Dr. Cassandra Washington, will you please come back for closing remarks? Tonight has truly left us with a lot of memories. Because of outstanding leadership, support, generosity, and hardworking students, this scholarship banquet has surpassed them all. Congratulations, students. You all are winners. The sky is the limits. Parents, please stand. Join me with join me in celebrating our hard-working students. <laughs> students, will you please stand and give your parents a round of applause because they have worked extremely hard this school year. Thank you, Ms. Angelo. You have worked tirelessly to make tonight a huge success. Thank you, the CTAE Student of the Year Planning Committee, the WVIP video crew, nominating teachers, CTAE Student of the Year High School Program Coordinators, and our virtual community. Thank you so much. Everyone, please be safe. We look forward to seeing you again next year for the 2022 CTAE Student of the Year Banquet. We do have snacks to go, and please stop by the Magic Mirror so you can be on the CTAE Student of the Year magazine cover as a nice favor to take home. Thank you. Have a great evening.